The first step is to get the Adobe Reader. Now I just did a search on Adobe Reader and it came up with all this stuff. What you need to come down to is the PDF Reader Acrobat Adobe Download Now. And then it says Download Reader. Now, I actually already have it, so I'm not going to install this one. That's the first step, finding that, downloading it. It's free and it works great. After downloading Adobe Reader, then it's time to open it up and then open, let's see, open a file. I'm going to go down to level two. There it is. Come over here to print it. And you want to make sure you've got poster and in this case, 100%. And then you click print Then you open up the next page, the next file. Okay, there's a few slots. Go over to upper right, click print, poster, 100% print. So after it's printed, then just kind of do a lay it out and you can use the overall file to help you guide you to do that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be cutting these edges and I'll do that. I'll show you and taping them back together. These are going to be taped together. This is going to over, this one's going to overlap. So what I'm going to do is I'm cutting the edge off here and I'm lining my rule with the end of that line. And I'm doing my best to eyeball that this is straight. And I'm going to cut it. can connect this up there to that there and just kind of line things up you can do things like you know put a straight edge across however you think what I end up doing is compensating when I cut these out I use straight edges, so if things are not completely aligned, it'll get pretty well aligned. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to finish this next one, and I'm going to start on the other row, and I'll show you how to put the two rows together. I've aligned this corner by cutting this top off, and then I'm just going to slip it under this one a little bit over that one and just align the edges and I'm pretty happy with that so now I'm going to tape this corner and start with the next one so I trimmed this edge and this edge and now I'm bringing it over on top and aligning up here in the middle, end to end. Make sure it looks good over here. It looks good. Try to tape within the part, with inside, because I will be cutting this out afterwards once it's all put together. I'm going to cut out the in individual pieces and I'm going to glue them onto poster board, uh, which is important because this is a line of symmetry. symmetry. See it up here? This is a line of symmetry, so I'm actually 
going to use this pattern twice. So I'm going to use it like this, and I'm going to flip it over and create the other half on the foam. Be sure to check that the scale is uh, 100%, just to make sure your printer didn't do something funny. That 100 millimeters is 100 millimeters. Okay, all the templates are rough cut out. So it's important that this line here is straight. So I'm gonna use a straight edge here in case my, you know, piecing together of the different pieces were um, not exact. It's a cutout template. You can kind of see where the register was not perfect. So that's why I use a straight edge. This is the most important since that's what aligns with the wing. And then down here, Cut out the template, and now here it is transferred to the foam. You can see how I put little arrowheads there and then just connected them after taking away the uh, template with the red line. And I just kind of put a little squiggly here, reminder that you know it's 50% cut and that I'm gonna remove that foam in those two places. I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments. Uh, just continue to cut out the templates and then use the straight edge to compensate for any misalignments. As one final comment is you can use this same Adobe printer and poster mode to take any PDF file. So this, for example, large PDF file on outerzone.uk uh, for a Lancaster bomber. I am considering building this or uh, making a um, making a foam board version.